now that everyone's had a chance to do the different frames and to put some text and some arrows and some pictures into their project, we are going to look into um, putting some video in and um, moving a few things around and then we're going to talk about um, how to edit the path, um, how, how to show pieces multiple times, and then how to move pieces if you make a mistake and you decide you want your path to go a different route. Um, there are a number of ways to move the path. And uh, we're also going to talk about saving it and then finding it again in your, um, your account because we're going to come back into it tomorrow to do more work on our Prezi. So first off, I'm going to come up here so you'll see um, I have got my three sections here. So each of my frames has some information on some different parts of um, the cell. And I'm going to go back here to this first slide because as you can see, I had originally had the nucleus picture there, um, the title. And I decided that I liked having uh, maybe a video as sort of an intro to the human cell first. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to go to YouTube and I'm going to, oops, I'm on right here. I'm going to go in here and I'm going to look for um, human cell. Let's see what they have here. Oh, that one looks really neat. So I like this one. I think it would be a good introduction to my um, Prezi on cells, so I'm going to go ahead and copy this URL right here and then come back over to my screencast and then I'm going to go, or I'm sorry, to my Prezi and then I'm going to go to YouTube video right here and click on that and it's going to ask me for my link and I'm going to paste it in there and then I'm going to insert it. And there it is. And I can move it around and decide where I want to put it at. I can resize it to make it a little bit smaller because it is a bit large. Um, it is almost obscuring my arrow. There we go. And the way that Prezi works, and you'll be able to see it here in a little bit when we take a look at our... Um, We'll take a look at how um, at how it actually shows the different pieces, so you can see that um, it's not it zooms in. So even though it looks much smaller in what you're looking at on the screen here, it's going to zoom in, so it takes up the entire screen. Right, we are going to go ahead. And I'm going to take a look out. Okay. So, there we go. We have our uh, piece here. And we're going to go ahead and find our invisible frame out here and I want it to be a lot closer because I changed what was in it so we're gonna shrink it down and then we can go ahead and make this a little bigger and we'll find our invisible frame out here So now it's pretty much within our invisible frame. You can see over here that it's it takes up almost the entirety of that, and that we like. Move it up just a little bit there so I can see the bottom of my invisible frame. It's not perfect. Let's move it just a bit more. 
So we'll just continue to move it up until we're happy with it. Click out of it, and it shows me right over here what it actually looks like. So it's not quite high enough. Move it a bit more. Perfect. That looks really good. So that will show me the entire thing there in my screen. Now, so we've added our video, and it will play right in our presentation. Um, next, we're going to talk about some path transitions. So you can see I have my different frames all put together, and now I'm going to start with um, making my path. So I'm going to I'm going to start editing it. I want my path to go there and then I want it to go here. Nope, not there. I want that one. I want this one. Perfect. And let's see, after that I want it to come back to here. And then, let's see what it looks like over here. So this... I'm going to come over here because next I would like to see this part. Can't see... We'll have to draw some of these little frames here. So we'll draw a frame here. So have just this piece and then we'll draw another one right here and then we'll draw one for our picture Good. so what we'll do then is we will come down here and we will start to edit our path again and we will mark Part of the reason sometimes that we have a hard time um, getting our paths to work is because the pieces that we are trying to get to are too small. So we're going to come over here. It's one of the pieces I want. Um, I actually nested it um, in one of the words, and I'm going to show you um, how to do that tomorrow. So for now, we'll just take a look at that, and we're going to come out a little bit again. Whoops, out a little bit. And go look at our nucleus portion and see if we can't get that part to work right. So we want our cell. Okay. Just not just not giving us the whole thing. So we're going to go ahead and delete that, and then let's come on up here and see if we can't get this done for now, and we'll check it out and see what we can't do to fix this. So, let's see here. So this is clearly just going to be a few things, and I can get to this. Let's try that. So, and you'll have to do this often. You're going to have to end up playing with the little pieces because it just doesn't quite work out the way you want it to. And um, once you, it works, it works. 
once you get a chance to get it the way you want it, then it will seem fine. Until we manage that, there we go. Okay, so we'll skip that one for now. I'm not sure what's taken us so long on it. I'm not sure why we're having these issues, but we will, I'll play with that one and try to get it to work here. We're gonna go ahead and add some of these other pieces. And this one, and that one, and this one, and that one, and this one, and our picture. And I think I want to come back to this one. It's a really nice picture of the cell. Actually, I think we're going to go over here and we'll grab this part again. So I want to see my cell. And I, what we'll do is we'll move those two. There we go. Perfect. So now. I'm gonna take a. I'm gonna save it so I have what I've gotten so far. I, mind you, the nucleus portion is gonna be out because for whatever reason this is not working for us right now. And let's take a look at what it looks like right now. So I'm gonna go to our present, and it says we allow to do the whole thing, and then it's gonna ask us to use the keyboard. And there is a function down here that allows you to do an auto advance, so you can do an auto advance up to four seconds, ten seconds. 20 seconds, etc. And actually, the interesting thing about the auto advance is that even though you have it on, it plays your entire video. It waits until the video is done. So we're not going to use that right now. We're just going to click through and get an idea of what it's going to look like. So here we go. Parts of a human cell. And it's headed into our video. I'm not going to let it go ahead and play because we're just looking to see how the transitions look parts of the human cell we go back to, we look at ribosomes, the workers, and we look at our picture of what ribosomes look like, and then we come up to cytoplasm, we talk about what cytoplasm does, and we have a nice photo here of the cell cutout with all the different pieces in it, and then mitochondria. And if I make these, and I'm going to play some still with my presentation, if I make my um, word pieces smaller and my picture pieces smaller within the frame, there will be more gray around the individual pieces. And when they zoom in on those pieces, pieces you will not see parts of the other pieces. So that's another important factor to consider. We're going to hurry up and get through this because I... I want to go ahead and save it. So we're done with that. We're going to click out of this mode. There we go. Now we're, we're going to save it here again. And then we're going to exit. And that takes me here. And remember when you originally log in, your Prezi screen should look something like this. So you'll have the new Prezi and then the Prezi that you created. Um, everybody go ahead and get your homework done for this evening. Work some more on those transitional pieces and we will get back into this tomorrow.